in the second lecture of differential operator and their interrelation we first define the definition of shift operator what is shift operator the definition of shift operator is e of f of x this is equal to f of x plus h okay now e square of f of x this is given by e of f of x plus h also this operator shift one more times that is f of x plus 2h and in similar manner we get the nth order shift operator this is e to the power n f of x this is given by f of x plus nh right this is the definition of shift operator shift operator and this is first order second order and so on this is nth order and similarly we define e inverse f of x this operator shift f of x in the left one unit okay and this is given by f of x minus h so we get e to the power minus 2 f of x this is given by f of x minus 2h and so on e to the power minus n f of x this is given by f of this is x minus h okay and it is clear that from this two relation if we write e to the power n f of x and in the right side if we write this is e to the e of f of x whole to the power n okay and this is not correct so similar result for this operator also so we can write e to the power plus minus n not equal to e f of x to the power plus minus n this result is not true okay now we try to find the relation between shift operator and forward difference operator and shift operator with backward difference operator what are the relation here delta f of x we already defined this delta in the previous class this is f of x plus h minus f of x okay and this is given by e of f of x minus f of x this is the definition of shift operator so we get delta f of x this is equal to e minus 1 of f of x so the relation between delta and e is given by delta is equivalent to e minus 1 that is e is equivalent to delta plus 1 okay this is the relation between shift and delta operator right and also from this relation we get if we here define nebula operator that is the backward difference operator and this is given by nebula f of x this is f of x minus f of x minus h right so we write this is f of x minus e to the power minus 1 f of x use the definition of e to the power minus 1 here and this relation gives nebula this is equivalent to 1 minus e inverse okay and from here we get e inverse this is equivalent to this is equivalent to 1 minus nebula and this is the relation between shift operator and backward difference operator and from these two relation we can get also an important relation of delta and nebula which is given by e into e inverse of f of x this is given by this is given by e of e of f of x minus h and this is also given by again f of x okay so e into e inverse is equivalent to i okay and we use 
this relation to get the relation between delta and nebula as we put here the value of E this is delta plus 1 and then put the value of E inverse this is nebula 1 minus nebula this is equivalent to the identity operator this is I now after the shift operator we discuss about the operator D and this is the differential operator and this differential operator D is nothing but this is simple derivative D dx ok now we start from the function f of x plus h and we expand it by using Taylor's infinite series and this gives f of x plus h into f dash x plus h square by factorial 2 into f double dash x and so on to infinity ok and we, we use here the definition of shift operator that is e of f of x and in the right side we use this is h into d f of x because d d x of f of x means f dash x and h square by factorial 2 into d square f of x because d square means d2 x by d d2 by dx2 ok second order derivative and we get say so on to infinity so from equating the operator on both sides we get the shift operator e this is equal to 1 plus hd plus h square d square by factorial 2 this is equivalent and so on to infinity so we get this is the series of exponential series this is e to the power hd so we get the relation between shift operator and differential operator as e this is equal to e to the power h d this is the relation between them ok now here we put the value of e from this relation and getting that e to the power h d this is equal to 1 plus delta and taking taking logarithm on both side we get h into d this is equal to log of 1 plus delta and expanding this series we get this is delta minus delta square by 2 plus delta q by 3 minus 2 infinity ok and this is d this d is given by 1 by h into delta minus delta square by 2 plus delta q by 3 minus delta to the power 4 by 4 and so on to infinity and this is the relation between this is the relation between differential operator and forward difference operator also to find the relation between differential operator d and backward difference operator nebula we consider the expression of x minus h in place of x plus h and clearly this Taylor series becomes f of x minus this and plus this minus this alternately minus and plus ok and now we put here the definition of e inverse so this is given by e inverse f of x and the right side is similar but here alternately minus and plus ok and we write this is e inverse is equivalent to 1 minus hd plus h square d square minus h square dq and so on and clearly this is the series of e to the power minus hd in place of e to the power hd now we put the value of e inverse e inverse what is the value of e inverse this is the 1 minus nebula so we get from this relation this is 1 minus nebula this is given by e to the power minus hd and this is the relation between differential operator d and the backward difference operator nebula and now again if we take logarithm on both sides then we get the relation as 
minus h d this is equal to log of 1 minus nebula and this series is given by nebula plus nebula square by 2 plus nebula q by 3 and plus so on to infinity. So we get differential operator d this is given by minus 1 by h into nebula plus nebula square by 2 plus nebula q by 3 and so on to infinity. This is the relation between differential operator and backward differential operator. And this is the relation between differential operator and the forward differential operator. Now we define here the central difference operator delta. What is central difference operator? Central difference operator delta of f of x, this is given by f of x plus h by 2 minus f of x minus h by 2. This is the central difference operator. And using the shift operator, we can write this is e to the power half f of x minus e to the power minus half f of x. So we write the relation between central difference operator delta and shift operator e is given by this is delta is equivalent to e to the power half minus e to the power minus half. Okay. And the averaging operator mu, this is given by mu of f of x, this is equal to half into f of x plus h by 2 plus f of x minus h by 2. This is the definition of averaging operator mu. Okay. And using the shift operator, similar as above, we get this is e to the power half f of x plus e to the power minus half f of x. And this relation gives mu is equivalent to half into e to the power half plus e to the power minus half. Okay. And clearly, from these two relations, using mu and delta, we write that mu into delta is equivalent to half into e to the power half plus e to the power minus half into e to the power half minus e to the power minus half. So this is equivalent to half into e to the power 1 minus e to the power minus 1. So e minus 1, okay, this is mu into delta. Now we put the value of e and e inverse from both the relation which are already proved here e is 1 plus delta we put here this is half into 1 plus delta and minus e inverse this is given by 1 minus delta so this is minus 1 minus nebula okay and so we get the relation between delta nebula delta and mu and this is del mu into delta so one half into this is given by one one cancel out this is delta plus delta okay this is also an important relation between forward difference backward difference and central difference and averaging operator also so we define all the operators of numerical analysis and also proved some of their relation or some of their internal internal relation between them in these classes. And we also prove or give the relation, all the other relation or, or all the other internal relation between them in the next classes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching.